Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Ryan Burns Show. Um, I just uh, wanted to say hi. Um, I'm doing fine. Um, so I got a little bit of a news for you. Um, the um, the Electoral College confirmed Biden's win, um, was honest and true. Um, if anybody, Trump is the one that is stealing the votes which he is undermining um, the Electoral College votes. And there is no, there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud whatsoever. None. Zip. So, um, he... I think it was close to 60, um, 60, um, I like to say 60, I think it's 60, 60, um, court, um, investigations on the possibility of widespread voter fraud and the and the judges are the ones that have refused they haven't refused they said to Donald Trump's legal team or lawyers Rudy Giuliani, um, that, um, they said, oh, okay, you come to kind of protest the Electoral College standings between you and Biden, um, so, Trump now stands at 232, Biden at 306. True, it's close, but Trump didn't get in. Trump needed 270 in order to formalize a win. He didn't get it. He got 232. Biden went over the threshold. Um, and he did it without a widespread voter fraud. Um, now, some people would argue with my think with my thinking. Um, so, the Electoral College met. They confirmed that Biden did win. Um, they signed off on it. And on January 6th, it will be formalized by none other than Mike Pence. Now, I heard that Mike Pence, after he formalizes and confirms his, the findings of what the Electoral College said, he's going to be leaving the country because he is scared of Trump. What a coward. Trump and Pence talk a big game, but they don't. But they can't do it. So that's all I wanted to say.
Okay, bye.